What's this? Huh? What's this? All right, so your boy got mochi. And as you can see, I did get all my drip back. I got a CC. And we got this little sands eye thingy. Don't know why we have it, but it looks cool. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys some mochi combos. I did do a lot of research and a lot of testing to see how this fruit works, what situations to use the moves in, and really just how to use it in combos and stuff. But I'll show you guys one combo. Uh, if you nerds want to see it, I'll just show it right here. It's pretty simple. You can do it in really any order you want to, but I think the hardest one to land, let me take that off. The hardest one to land is probably this one. Let me show you. Then you do this. This one really only works with CC. As you can see, he got frozen right there, but if you don't have CC, I just recommend using like ball head and, you know, the regular combo. As you do. But, uh, Anyway, uh, here's the combo that everyone can do. Let me showcase it with like any weapon. Let me just go to pick a random weapon. This weapon, okay. Yep, this weapon's gonna work. Uh, where is it? There it is. Right. Gonna use it, and you just use it like this. And this. What the fuck? Okay. This, and then you can go into a ball combo. And then you can, you know, do whatever you want. But, after that, you should probably not do whatever you want. And, I mean, this isn't a true combo, but it sometimes works. And you can just go like this, slam them down. And that is a pretty good combo. It's not true. They can, like, hit you out of it, but it still works a decent amount of the time. So, if you do want to use something that's pretty good, even though it's not true, just go ahead and use that. I have heard people saying that there are multiple builds that you can use for Mochi. But the most preferred one seems to be the fruit farming build or like really high fruit damage build. I mine isn't that one. I have a sword build. As you can see by my like 45 and one damage, yeah. Okay, future Miz here. I just wanna say real quickly that I did change my build just now. And I'll show my stats on the screen again. Just for you guys that wanna copy my new build. I think this build is literally better than the last one. So yeah, this one's probably like perfect. Also, I'm going to do a few matches with this build. So, you guys just look at that. Half of them are going to be with the old build. And you can see the difference between the old build and the new build that I made. But anyways, without selling you guys further, let's just get right into the video. <laughs> So before we get into the PvP, I want to say I'm not that good with this fruit because it's new and I'm not really used to it. I'm sure nobody's really amazing with it anyway, but, uh, you know, I, it's like my first day having it. And Jesus, oh my god, his paw, that's not good. Anyway, um, I think this fruit is like really hard to learn. How does he keep doing that? I think this fruit is really hard to learn just because it has so many moves, as you can see. Um, but really, if you want to get this fruit, you should probably like be good at PvP before you get it. Because it is quite difficult to use. You gotta use up tilts on almost every single move. And if you don't, then, you know, you're kinda dead. But the combos are pretty easy, if you know what you're doing. I would say. Oh, let me eat this real quick. This guy's actually pretty good. I don't know how he keeps perfect blocking. If it's just luck or not, and I am not pulling out any combos today. I'm missing, yeah, see. Some of the moves you gotta hold and some of them you don't. That's why I say it's kind of a bit hard to learn. I messed up, see, yep. I'm probably gonna mess up a lot with this fruit, but. Honestly, I prefer using Brook Kane, but because of the combo. Uh, yeah. What the, yeah, you can M1 through that, yeah, see. That's why I said don't use that. Don't use that off rip. Alright, just oh my god. Yo, this guy's crazy. Can I I can't use it. Okay. Yeah, into this. Into this. And then into this. I missed my ball head combo? Okay. Alright, I'm selling, I'm selling, I'm sorry bro. 
I'm sorry, bro. Why am I so slow? I mean, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Bro. <laughs> I'm so slow with that right now. Okay, let me just use Burning Mochi. I don't really use that move, but it's good in a pinch. And you can just spam some moves if you really need to. That's why Mochi's pretty good. But the combo is still. I just said, what are you doing? Okay, GG. Combos, I say, take skill. The uh, throwing out moves does not. All right. Anyway, um, combos for Moji. If there's a different one other than Candy Cane with that move, please let me know. Because right now, this makes Candy Cane the best weapon for Moji, which is kind of dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, are we actually hitting it? No way. No way. No way. No way, bro. Oh my god, that's broken. And then I can seize this. He's all my block breakers. He really likes blocking, doesn't he, though? He really. <laughs> we made him log second match with Mochi. That's hilarious. Alright, GG, bro. Honestly, I dare say this is the best Mochi build so far. Maybe if I change around my stats a little bit, that would be different, but I'd have to see. Okay. Let's just block break him real quick. I don't know why I did that. That was a waste of moves. He still got hit by it. What? Okay. I'm I'm sorry, bro. I missed. I missed. Yeah, that move you gotta hold. It's so annoying to hold it. Can you stop throwing your paws at me, you fat furry? I'm sorry, but please. Is this the furry fruit now? Like, is that what we're gonna call paw? Can we just please call it the free fruit already? I don't know why we're not. Let me just block break him. Or just fling him really far. And then, and with, yep, right back at you, buddy. Dude, this fruit is so toxic. I love it. I love it so much. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this. It's so fun. Oh my god. My bad. I didn't mean to. Right. Oh. Good thing I didn't block that. And just, oh, he's not gonna teleport out. I thought he was. What the heck? You good, bro? You good, bro? You good, bro? This guy's wilding. That's not even a. That's not even a combo, bro. All right, let's get him in the combo. Yeah. Look at this. The CC. Oh, he countered it. Oh, nice. That's actually a really great use of counter. That is the longest ult I've ever seen in my life. Did it just go through my block? What? It goes through your. It goes through your block? It goes through your tech guy? What? Dude, that's actually crazy. I didn't know that. No wonder he's holding for so long. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use my 10 once I get. Can I use my 10? Speaking of, thank you. Okay. okay. Alright, let me just block break him. Uh, what? Why did that not up tilt him? It's up tilt him. Bro, can I? Okay, he's dead. That took so long. That took so long. I'm probably gonna cut that up a lot. Oh my lord. For this second half, we're going to be using Evolved Miz. Miz from like two days in the future. We can actually do combos. Okay, and I messed up already. We don't talk about it. Anyway, as I was saying, this combo can basically one-shot anybody. I don't know how he perfect blocked that. But <laughs> either way, there's no way he's getting out of all this combo. Especially not that. Yep. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> this fruit is like the best fruit in the game. In my opinion, this is the best fruit in the game. Also, I'm using the different build right now. As you can see, these are my stats. So you know. Pretty, really good stats, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you sometimes run out of stamina, so if you don't have enough stamina to regen like me, then maybe put a little bit more stamina. 
but I don't see the rest of the stats as a problem. Okay, that guy, what is he doing? What is he doing, dude? And then they hit him into this. And he's gonna get clapped. Oh my god, I'm actually violating this guy. Dude. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my lord. And he's dead. Well, that's wraps, bro. Slap. Okay, that was kind of weird, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, you want to keep the start and the finish the same. But, uh, you know, the finish is the most important part. I don't know, this guy kind of messed it up, but... Uh, okay. Alright, let me just... Oh, my god, I missed! <gasps> I missed! Okay, there we go, we got his hockey on. What the heck was that? Why did he just waste that? Alright, we'll hit him with this. And then into the ball head combo. And then into this. And then to this. And you can only really do that one with candy cane. Because you see... Oh my god. What the heck was that? Alright, well, that's wraps. I guess I'm just a better mochi user, bro. I'm sorry. Sorry to do you like that. Not much I can do. Let me turn on my hockey. He's gonna turn it on too. So. What? What is he doing? Alright, and then we'll hit him with this. Into the up to combo. Into this. Oh, he countered. Good counter. Good counter. That's an amazing use of counter. I won't even lie, bro. That was good. Alright, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this mochi shit combo. Literally, you can shit on people so easily with this. It takes no skill once you get used to it, but it does take a bit of skill to get used to. And uh, yeah, overall rating of mochi for me, I would say it's like 10 out of 10. If not 10 out of 10, I'd say 9.5 out of 10. Just because this fruit is good for farming, it's basically as good as Pika, and it's good for PvP. And it's like the best, one of the best fruits at PvP too. So, definitely the best fruit in the game right now. If you have it, eat it, or trade for it. If you have it a few weeks after this video comes out though, make sure you eat it. Because it's going to be worth not that much. And there's going to be a ton. So, make sure you eat it. By the way, thank you guys so much for 10k subscribers. I really appreciate and love you all. Love a, what the hell. Anyway, join my Discord if you haven't. We're trying to get to 4k members. We're pretty close to 3.5k right now. But yeah, hope I can see and meet you all there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.